Hey guys, Angus here. Got another Airsoft product review for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at a piece of tactical gear, and that piece of tactical gear is this product right here. These are Dexter Meadow Enterprises clip-on Airsoft knee pads. Now these are a little bit different than your typical knee pads. First off, you're interested in knowing where to purchase them. These were sent out to me by Dexter Meadows. There'll be a link down below in the description. You can purchase them on their site for about $35. Now some of you are probably saying that's a little bit more expensive than my typical knee pad. What's so special about these? Now what's so different about uh, the Dexter Meadows knee pads as opposed to your standard ones? Your standard knee pads are typically uh, attached to your body via straps, which wrap around the back of the leg and often cause pinching and also just get tight back there. It hurts when you crouch down, it hurts when you bend your knees slightly occasionally if you wrap them too tight. Now the difference with the Dexter Meadow knee pads is that these do not use straps. They actually use metal clips to attach onto your BDU pant leg and stay firmly in place as you move. That way there's no straps around back to pinch you or cut you as you're running. The clips are much more effective as opposed to just the standard straps. Now going over a little bit about the knee pad, my first grievance with it, if you can't tell, it's quite big. It's about the size of my face. So if you're a younger guy, these aren't going to be the best things for you. They'll probably not cover your knee. They'll probably cover quite a good portion of your leg. So these are definitely more towards the older uh, airsoft players out there as they are quite big. I do not believe that they make them in different sizes. However, they do make them in different colors. As you can see, you have the OD green version here. They do also sell these knee pads in black and coyote tan as well, or coyote brown, my apologies. But they do sell them, they're all the same price, about $34.95. Another grievance I had with these things is that the clips don't exactly open an amazing amount in order to grip onto your BDU. You really have to slightly weave your pant leg in there in order to hook it on. They really don't open amazingly wide. But the clips definitely are revolutionary in what they are. What these clips are made of is metal coated in a rubber component, and I really don't think they're going to break. If they do break, Dexter Meadows does sell replacement loops as well as the clips so that you can just buy those instead of having to buy a whole new pair of knee pads. So you're pretty much set for a while if you buy one of these. It breaks. You can just go ahead and buy a replacement part for it. They do work rather well as knee pads, as I'll show you in a minute. I do have one attached to my leg below. The front hard plate here is constructed of a harder plastic, and it really does take the effects of way away when you kneel down on perhaps a stick, a BB and CQB perhaps. Really don't feel anything. They do do a good job of what they're supposed to do, protect your knee. And at the same time, as I've been stating, this is the biggest pro of the knee pads. They don't hurt the back of your leg with pinching from the straps. These are fully adjustable. As you can see, the clips are velcroed on. You can loosen or tighten them when they're up against your knee. One recommendation, again, as you'll see later, I would not wear these with a pair of loose BDU pants as I have on right now. They should be rather tight against your legs in order for them to work 100%. Otherwise, they may slightly wiggle around on your knee. But the clips do allow the knee pad to stay firmly in place. As I'll show you in a little bit, the knee pads really don't come undone. Once they're strapped to your leg in that position, that's where they're going to stay until you unclip them. The only way you can really force these clips off, as you can see, they make use of a jagged teeth style attachment. The only uh, way you can really force them off is by tugging as hard as you can. And honestly, with these things attached on with those teeth, you run the risk of ripping your BDU by simply forcing them off. So there's really no chance this thing's shifting in position once it's on your knee. It's solidly on there, as opposed to the strapped knee pads where they do tend to slide down or slide up a little bit as you're running. But enough about the knee pad itself. You guys probably want to see it on my knee, so let's go ahead. All right, and here's the pad out. itself attached to my knee. Just in case you were wondering, you do get a pair of knee pads for $34.95. It's not just an individual knee pad for that price. Anyway, here it is attached to my knee. As you can see, I have it placed up slightly higher than some of you guys might, as I do not tend to kneel on this leg too much. This is more so one just to take the shot if the BB were coming in. Again, it is adjustable. As you can see, I have this slightly adjusted to fit on my knee a little bit better. As I mentioned, it's rather big. Even for my skinny, scrawny legs, it takes up quite a little bit of space. But once it's on there, you really don't feel it. The only way you feel it is when you're kneeling down 
and you feel this thing press against your leg. There's nothing in the back to pinch you, nothing in your back to slice you when you're kneeling down. And that's great because it's less pain. That's the one thing I was concerned about. I never use knee pads because they always cut me and the Dexter Meadows do not. They strap on and they don't cause anything at all. The only time you feel them, as I stated, is when you're actually kneeling down. As you can see, like I said, these are rather loose pants. They are gripped on via the teeth. Really no chance of tugging them off. Secured on rather well, and they really don't move around whatsoever. You can shake them all you want. They're gonna stay in that secure position, and there's really no chance at all these things popping off. So the clips, they're made of metal, and they're solid, they're good quality. So really, quality knee pads right here. Not gonna fall off, and more importantly, as I continue to stress, they aren't going to slice you when you kneel down. These are good quality knee pads, only grievance is that they're big. Looking for something that's not gonna cut you, gonna stay in place, clip on rather tightly, Dexter Meadows knee pads may be for you. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe.